Hi, I'm going to show you my workflow working with 6K footage from the GH5 uh, with Premiere until they get their codecs uh, up to snuff. Right now, it doesn't really play very well 6K footage directly from the GH5. So first off, I have my camera set to 6K and it's in manual mode. And in the menu, uh, under the little camera icon on the third one, the third uh, menu of the five, uh, you have find the 6K settings. Now, by default, it's in just holding down the shutter button, but uh, you probably will want to just change it to a more regular setting with the uh, start and stop on record. And this last one, as soon as you push the button, it'll save a second before and a second after, so it's continually recording. So on to Premiere. So once you have your footage saved, you'll you'll have it saved as an MP4 file. Now I, here here's my file here. It's uh, 4,992 by 3744. So this is a 4.3 format. So it's not really uh, 6K if you're going to be doing 16.9. It's more like a 5K file, but um, the duration is 21 seconds. So you'll see that QuickTime doesn't play it and VLC will at least kind of open it up, uh, but it doesn't really play it very well, at least on a Mac anyway. So uh, what you're going to need is a program like I've been using Edit Ready since basically it was released <laughs> 1.0. Uh, they've released uh, 2.0 now, and you can find that program. You can download a trial um, on the Divergent Media uh, website. Here it is, Edit Ready. And they'll let you transcode the first minute of every clip. So this might be all you need is just a trial. You may not have to purchase it uh, if, unless you're going to do something longer than a minute uh, clip at a time. So uh, you just basically, it's pretty easy to use. Just drop your footage in there. And you'll see you even have a little preview window here. Now it's my computer may not play this file very well, but we'll just, you know, it doesn't play it at all. It's similar to VLC. But then you can choose what you're going to send it out to uh, ProRes or uh, DNHD. Um, I usually use ProRes HQ since I'm on a Mac. And I'll just convert it. It might take a minute because it's 20 seconds long. So we'll just let it work away on that. Okay, so that took about three minutes to get that done. So if we look at the file, show in Finder, you'll see that we'll be able to play it now. So let's bring it into Premiere. So the reason I transcoded it is because you may have realized this already. If you take the original file, and bring it into your timeline. Here we'll change the sequence settings. So when it's in your timeline, it doesn't play correctly. You get this sort of green file, but uh, that's pretty not very useful to work with. So I'll just take in the transcoded footage here. Now I'm going to have to set this down since I'm recording screencasting as well. But you'll see there's the transcoded footage. And it doesn't look too bad. Uh, there's lots of possibilities there. Now you have the 4.3 format, so you can sort of zoom in and move around within this image. Uh, or you could use an anamorphic lens and do something anamorphic with this. I believe they're going to release an update in the, the summer to use the full uh, sensor width, uh, which will give you that much more resolution. So there you go. That hope you found that helpful. Now, uh, Edit Ready's a paid program, but you could probably find other things if you're on a PC, like uh, Handbrake would probably do this as well. Any sort of uh, FFmpeg program should be able to transcode those GH5 6K files for you to use in Premiere. Uh, have fun. It's a pretty cool format, and uh, I look forward to trying it out some more.